Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about avoiding a sweet tooth. I think I have the world's biggest sweet tooth. I have no resistance to candy and in and out and treats and especially, ooh, cookies? That's my ish. When a sweet tooth strikes, it's very difficult to be like, yo, homie, back there, I need you to chill out because I got a diet and I got fit goals. But I'm here to help you figure out what to do when sweet tooth attacks. Tip number one is to challenge yourself. So if you love candy and you love cookies and you're eating it every single day, I want you to challenge yourself to go two days, two whole days, 48 hours without any empty sugars or empty carbs, okay? That means no potato chips, that means no Sour Patch watermelons. 48 hours seems like it's nothing, but if you have a big sweet tooth, it's gonna be a challenge, but wait till the end, because you will be rewarded. Tip number two is to fill the munchies with healthy snacks. I've always been a snacker, and then when I decided to make the crazy decision to live fit and be fit, I was like, shoot, what am I gonna do? Because I need snacks. When I'm sitting at my desk all day, the only thing on my mind is eating, okay? But I want you to fill the void. Fill it with healthy snacks. We got carrots and broccoli with hummus. We got celery and peanut butter. We got an apple and some cheese. We got low fat Greek yogurt with some like cinnamon on it and like maybe some nuts or maybe just some fruit. Healthy snacks will be much better than eating potato chips. Tip number three and the most helpful tip that I can give you is to find a distraction. So after I get done eating a meal, the first thing that I want is candy or cookie or cake. Those are the top three things I'd crave. Create a distraction. Chew a piece of gum if you're sitting at a desk. Go to the gym, read a book, listen to some music. Take your mind off of the sweet tooth. Tell it, girl, bye bye Tip number four is to wait 20 minutes after you eat a meal before eating any other food, if you need the food. Because let me tell you, a lot of the times, everything is psychological. So I will be eating this like really good meal, right? I had some pork oil, I got some veggies, I got some rice, and then immediately, I'm like, all right, all right, where are the Sour Patch watermelons? Wait 20 minutes for your body to digest the food and allow your metabolism to kick in and I promise you, you're gonna feel full and you're most likely not gonna want any more food. My last and final tip is to never let yourself be hungry. Take advantage of the health benefits that eating six meals a day has for you rather than three meals. You're going to be less hungry and you're gonna be less likely to go to In-N-Out on your way home after work. Keep yourself full and you are more likely to not let that sweet tooth kick in. All right guys, that's all that I have for you today. Five tips to make sure you don't give in when sweet tooth strikes. If you can go 48 hours without eating any empty carbs or sugars, reward yourself. One cookie is not gonna kill you. Don't go crazy. Make sure it's a small cookie, not a large cookie. You wanna stay on track and on top of your fitness goals. But if you're just living fit and you're just doing the best that you can do, then a handful of Sour Patch watermelons will not harm you. Okay, like a full bag? Yeah, that's gonna go straight to my gut. But like a little handful, you're gonna be okay, I promise. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a fit tip with wit again. Be sure to follow me on Instagram to see even more of your girl. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.